Welcome everyone for the fourth game of the Go for StarCraft 2 tournament. By the way, I have to warn you guys about this. I, I only found out um, yesterday, last night. This is going to be the last game of the finals. Uh, interesting or not, they earn points on these matches from the ESL uh, league. And what happens is, even if Straylock already won three games and the finals are four games, they're still playing the fourth game because there's a... Um, points uh, attributed to whoever wins this game so they're still playing it for the points if white Ra wins this one he gets more points for him bit unfortunate i was hoping for more games but yeah it's what we get oh wait 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 white Ra is going instantly for a really really quick rush look at him pylon on that corner i think straylock spotted him yeah he did he did he saw it because he saw the the pro passing supply depot cancelled there for some reason and now he's making barracks really fast he knows that white is going for some cheese i guess it's just a payback because um Strelok already did it to him in the past so white Rod just saying hey it's my turn bitch yeah i also know how to do like the french say le fromage so yeah it's my turn and look at him gateway inside Strelok's base I wonder if he's gonna chrono boost some zealots out and start ruining Straylock's plans, would be awesome. Yeah, Straylock getting a um, supply depot, he's supply locked, he can't even build anything else. Meanwhile, Whitera, nothing going on here, he's just messing minerals. I think he's gonna put all his chips in for this bet, he's gonna risk everything. Almost done the gateway, the probe just wandering around not doing much, bunker getting built really close to White Ra's uh, gateway, this is gonna be interesting. There's already a marine almost out, so let's see who's gonna get, win this. Oh, SCV's coming out of the line to help out getting this uh, gateway down. There's already a marine, marine is shooting the, the gateway, meanwhile the bunker almost built. And look at the SCVs trying to get the pylon down and White Ra just made another pylon up there. <laughs> And there's already a zealot out killing the SCVs, running around. I'm not sure if he's gonna take him to the mineral line, but it would be interesting. And he's chrono boosting another one out. What else is going on here? Yeah, here comes the zealot, gonna start messing up with the SCVs. And he lost, oh my god, this whole complete mineral line is stopped. No income for Straylock. White Ra just putting all this pressure on Straylock. Really nice play, really nice rush. Really nice cheese, I guess. But yeah, gateway almost down, he's already got the shield down, there's another, whoa, he's going for the supply depot, boom, dead, two zealots there, another zealot came from the back, and there goes the gateway, exploded, and now the marines trying to take care of the pylon, but, well, there's no income going for Straylock at the moment, zero, none, this push from, um, from White Ra was really nice, he really played it well no income is supply locked look at it he's even supply locked there's no chance Straylock is gonna, ha is gonna have to um, rebuild his base and get everything running f smooth again because white rod just ruined his plans yeah, still this uh, pylon here i think he's gonna down pretty soon yeah okay i'm actually really impressed because it's a big change on the playstyle that white Ra had on the last three games if he had played like this on the, on the other games, maybe he would have standard a chance against Straylock. But hey, with all his learning, and I guess he learned that, maybe next time he'll go a bit more offensive. Anyway, going pretty good for now. Getting his cybernetic score down here. Already has two gateways going. Let me get production up. More zealots, more marines here. Picking up the gas. Yeah, he's just r scaring away, running away that zealot and keeping his defenses on the ramp so nothing comes in there. And White Ra just messing some zealots for now, just starting, I guess. I'm not sure if he's going to try a push, but I guess he's going to be surprised if he tries a push right now because there's plenty of units on, the, on that ramp. Three gateways, cybernetic score, second gas down. Going really good, chrono boosting his economy, chrono boosting probes. How's the income going at the moment? Yeah, yeah, he's a bit ahead, not much, but he is a bit. And look at the gap on the harvest account. Look at how big the gap is. Only the mules trying to keep Straylock in this game. He's struggling at the moment. Let me get back here. Okay, we are gonna have three zealots trying to go up the ramp once more. Yeah, bunker and marines there. Oh, he's still trying to pass one of them down, but the other two are actually able to pass. And we're gonna have more harassment incoming from Whitera. Whitera just big harasser on this game, just 
loads of pressure on Straylock, and it's actually working because he's just putting the Str Straylock into stress, and Straylock can't actually get what he is built properly done like this. And down once more. Okay, now he's getting a pile on here. Oh, cancelled. Production, more stalkers. He's changing for stalkers now at the moment, or at least gathering stalkers with zealots. And he's preparing warp gate technology, probably to try um, a supply. Um, I'm sorry, a proxy pylon close to Straylock's base and warp in some units. We'll see, I guess. Concussive shells for Straylock and Twilight Council incoming. This is going to be interesting. He's changing his uh, playstyle for this game. Let's see if it pays off. The, the, the last couple of games it was pretty much Stalkers and Zealots. He didn't invest it on anything else. But now he's getting some Twilight Council. We're going to have some High Templars. AoE, that Psy Storm is really good for this Marine Marauder Balls that Straylock keeps investing in. So I think this is going to be nice. Let's see what's going, in, going on here. He's going to try to make a push on White Trust Base. Well, Whitra has some units ready to defend, good. Just pushing back. Yes, yeah, Trelok trying to hold it off, but no, no. Got reinforcements, another uh, Marauder came from the back, but no. Now, look at them just slicing and dicing those Marauders. The, the Zealots just ruining the Trelok's plan. Yeah, yeah, this one is almost dead and killed. Ugh, look at all the blood coming out of the armor, just gruesome. And what do we have here? Okay, two barracks getting pumped, one with a tech lab, another one with a reactor, and a factory. Okay, Straylock might be changing his, um, his plan. Uh, I see the factory there, we might go for some kind of mech build to complement this marine marauder ball. Another bunker there going down. I see zealot charge, steam pack, and I think I saw... Oh, there's the... Look at it, he's starting the expo, really interesting. White Roger's picking up the expo, gonna try to boost his economy so he can build even faster. And I think I saw... Did I? Yeah, I did, robotics facility, there it is. For now he's uh, thinking about an observer, maybe to take a look on, uh, on Straylock's base and be able to keep up with, with these changes, which I think is gonna earn him an advantage because... Um, uh, as we could see, Straylock was going to change for a, yeah, for a mech build with some uh, siege tanks maybe, we'll see pretty soon. And like that the observer will be able to notice that and he can adapt his, um, his unit composition, White Rock can adapt his unit composition. For now it's Zealots and Stalkers. And this one is almost done, his expo on the natural is almost up, so he's gonna have a nice boost on his income, I would say. And charge lots are really helpful. Also Templar Archives going down. White Rod just investing on really interesting builds this time. Not going for basic stuff or uh, like trying to uh, null in with some t tier 1 units. He's going for something else this time, really nice. Pylon there. More Zealots, he already has the Warp Gate technology, so he can just make them port here. Observer is here, already checked what's going on, probably saw the Siege Tank and saw the Factory, of course. So I think that now he's gonna try to build up his uh, unit composition accordingly. Yeah, already transferred some units here, so he's already pumping his income, let me look. Yeah, big gap, big gap, Harvester count almost double, and really, really big gap on the income as well. The White Rai is just taking the lead on this one. On, on this game, he's just playing like he never did on the other one. Just really, really good. And there's the first High Templar going. Sending his uh, Stalkers to check out. Oh, they're gonna meet the SEV. Nice. Nice. Probably it was the... Um, probably it was this Observer that checked it. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, I'm now at the Zelnaga Watchtower. Just holding and falling back, I would say. Not sure. Yeah, he already has a High Templar, I'm wondering if he's gonna get some more. For now is the Psionic Storm getting up, and it's really important. And getting these rocks down, probably thinking about the second expo if the game goes uh, goes along. Yeah, and here comes Trelok. Trelok massed uh, uh, a fairly decent army, and now he's gonna try to pull in. How's the army composition? Yeah, there's a bit of a gap. I see White Rye has more units, but we'll see what's gonna come out of this. Here comes the tanks, they already have siege tech by the way, so he's gonna siege them here. There's a scan going on, he saw he saw White Rod's forces. White Rod just porting more units in and here we go. Stimmed. Battle incoming. Oh big side storm on the back killed a ton of marines. That was just an awesome move. And now and GG's! 
you, did you guys saw that charge by the, the charge loss? That was awesome. They just melted everything. They sliced and diced on uh, Strelox forces. And Whitra actually won this game. Oh, I can only wonder if he would be able to play like this on the on the games that we see before. S things might have changed. Anyway, really nice play by Whitra. Respect. And Strelok won this finals, obviously. 3-1. But this game was very, very interesting. I really like to see Whitra's come back. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. I'll be uploading more stuff. I'm gonna choose some other interesting games for the following days. And I'll see you all later.